In the following clip, Advocate Indra Jai Singh, while speaking at Money Life Foundation's third annual RTI lecture, draws attention to what she calls an ideological court, where there is more than one Supreme Court in the court, as it is amply evidenced in their recent judgments. She also criticizes the modern Supreme Court of India as being a pick and choose court. If the 20th century bar in India was an anglicized bar, bar influenced by Oxbridge, alumni, and barristers, the bar of the 21st century in India appears to be mainly Americanized with ideas brought home by LLM doctorates from the alumni of Ivy League universities such as Harvard, Pennsylvania, and Columbia. But coming back to the issue at hand, this is the pool of talent from which we draw our judges. And while making appointments, we must be conscious as to what is the ideology of the person we are appointing. This, of course, brings me to what I have called the ideological court. Some have called it the executive court. The evidence is on the table. From the decision in Babri Masjid to the decision to put in cold storage, CAA, electoral bonds, a challenge to abolition of 370, from the grant of bail to some journalists and not to others, we see evidence of a highly self-conscious court. But perhaps this is a charitable description. What we really have is more than one Supreme Court of India, and sometimes more than one person in the personality of one judge. A pick and choose policy is what we see, perhaps the power vesting with the master of the roster.